Hey everyone, um, welcome back to CBTV. For those who do not know who I am, again, my name is Christian Villanueva. And first of all, happy Pride. I don't know what direction I am going for this video. I don't even know, let alone where to start with this video. Come here, Jasper, up, up. Okay, Jasper's in the camera. But I wanted to create a video uh, of just reflection and time. To me, pride is supposed to be the time and month of acceptance and love and loving one another and seeing the rainbow flag on the streets or signs. But to me, this month is a lot of reflection. I've experienced a lot of bad things, especially with this month. These past couple of years to be significant with you. Um, about three years ago, I had a friend um, that I met online from Tumblr. And his name was Drew. And Drew was one of like the funniest people that I know. I would always like slide through his like Tumblr in like messages and he was such a really outgoing person and had so much charisma and heart that I just wanted to be like him one day and I haven't seen his face um, for quite some time but he was very close to me. Like, we've had, like, multiple conversations, like, left and right. He lived all the way from Florida. And it's amazing to know, like, how the internet, like, community is super small. But the last time I saw his face recently was when I saw him on a Facebook feed in the news. And um, he was a victim of the Orlando Pulse uh, nightclub shooting. I don't know how to like react. I don't know how to feel. Let alone, I don't know. I, I don't know. Once Tumblr was like fading out, like obviously with a lot of like internet friends, you just like kind of just drift apart from each other. And I just wish that I could have you know, at least said hi to him one more time but he was a victim amongst all about 50 loved ones, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, who got their taken lives away from the shooting. But last year, I lost a very good friend of mine And he had no idea how much of an impact he made to me in my life. Um, but I know that he's watching over me. His name was Marcus. And Marcus and I were very good friends at San Jose State. Um, we met um, through like we met through a dating app and I've always had the fattest crush on him and I don't feel very comfortable sharing this um, but Marcus and I had a really good like relationship as as a friend I was an RA um, and you know we would always like hang out but I, I had a really really strong connection with him um, I've actually fallen for the guy, and <clears throat> there were times that he didn't accept himself, he didn't love himself, he questioned even his existence, and there were already a lot of like red flags on Facebook. He's taken his life. 
and it may not be for this reason of the fact that it's Pride Month. I don't know, but he's gone. And I think a huge factor of that is that he wasn't comfortable with himself. Every single day, I wake up and I, I realize how, how blessed I am. Um, like sure, um, I may not have like such a luxurious lifestyle or <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't even know why the fuck I'm creating this video. Um, but all I know is that I'm blessed. Like I can look at myself in this camera screen and I can remind myself how, how, how blessed I am. I have the privilege of having a father and a mother who continues to give me unconditional love and support. I have a brother who, who, who can support me, for me. I have friends that that are always constantly there. I have coworkers who treat me like family. And um not a lot of people have that. Um I can't even look back from the year of me coming out of the closet and explaining my story, which you can go ahead and watch. But I know that there's someone out there who's yelling for help on the inside. I know that there's someone out there who's not even ready to come out yet. I was a victim of cyberbullying, and I'm telling you, those were the darkest days of my life. I would get, like I mentioned, hundreds of like anonymous hate messages, especially on like websites, um, telling me to come out of the closet or calling me the F word. Um, if it wasn't for the help and support of my loved ones, I would have even considered even would have considered even taking my life away too. But I can't imagine what people, especially young kids, who think it may be wrong to feel the way they feel. <laughs> we live in a world where we're supposed to love each other by race, by sexual orientation, by gender, whatever we identify ourselves as. As you can see, this world is not a fun place to live in, but it makes it worthwhile having loved ones that care and so care so much about you and that will love you for you and there are times that people feel alone um, or people become a victim 
and hate crimes. I've done enough crying for today. Today was rough because today is a three year anniversary and soon it will be um, my good friend Marcus's one year. But what I'm doing today is for every like uh, this video receives until Thursday, June 13th at 11.59, I will donate five cents into the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project is an LGBTQ plus um, organization that is like a lifeline center um, for a lot of questioning youth, a lot of youth who are afraid to talk about stuff such as their sexuality who are maybe even considering their life taken away and this nonprofit speaks so much for me and regardless of how many comments that I will receive because I know that this nonprofit has saved so many lives but just a message to the world. Please continue to look out for one another. We're losing a lot of great people in our lives. Unexpectedly. These people could have been amazing fathers to their children. These people could have been a great role model. And if you know that someone is Seeking for help, check up on them, especially through this time. This is the month of love, acceptance, and it should be happening every single day. Please, let's look out for one another. To Drew and Marcus, I, I, I know you guys are probably hearing me right now. I just want to let you all know that I appreciate you so much and thank you for um, existing me with your presence. Um, but I will continue to be a voice and carry on the torch of being an advocate for our community. Take a look at my information down below also of how you can help and more content is coming out very soon. I'm sorry that this was a really hard one for me, um, but I just feel like I needed to voice this opinion out there because today was a very rough day. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your love and support. All right, um, this is Christian Jerry Villanueva. Um, catch you guys soon. Take care. Bye.